Today, Raspberry Pi surprised all of us with some big news. They released the Raspberry Pi Pico W, which is just like the Raspberry Pi Pico, but with wireless capabilities. We will tell you everything you need to know about the newest Raspberry Pi microcontroller. So this is what the new Raspberry Pi Pico W looks like. In the middle you got the RP2040 chip and you can find some similar components to the Pico, like the boot select button, the onboard LED or the micro USB B connector. Also you got the 40 GPIO pins, 20 on either side of the Pico W. The three debug pins are more towards the middle of the Pico W. If you remember, on the Pico they were towards the bottom. On the bottom of the Pico W you find the Infineon CYW43439 package, which provides the Pico W with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.2 and Bluetooth Low Energy. The triangular shape at the bottom is the PCB antenna, which is similar to the PCB antenna of the Raspberry Pi 4. The pinout of the Raspberry Pi Pico W is nearly identical to the pinout of the Pico. The only difference besides the position of the debug pins is the pin number of the LED. The pin number of the LED is now WL underscore GPIO0, which is the first GPIO pin of the Infineon 43439 chip. Since the Pico W is based on the RP2040 chip, you can program it using C or C++ and MicroPython. Raspberry Pi released a new version of the Pico SDK, which includes libraries for the wireless interface of the Pico W. Setting up the C and C++ toolchain for the Pico W works exactly like with the Pico. Click on the link in the top right corner to learn how to set up the Pico SDK. The most convenient way to program the Pico W with MicroPython is using the Thony IDE. But since MicroPython versions are board specific, you need the correct version for your Raspberry Pi Pico W. We put the download link in the description. Download the .uf2 file and flash it onto the Pico W. Then, in the Thony IDE, switch the interpreter to MicroPython for the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you have all projects for the Raspberry Pi Pico, they should run on the Raspberry Pi Pico W, except if they use the onboard LED. In this case, you need to change your code to account for the new pin number. Raspberry Pi also released the Pico H and Pico WH. These are versions of the Pico and Pico W with pre-sorted headers. You can pick up all versions of the Raspberry Pi Pico at our store right now. Check out the link in the description. To make your start with the Raspberry Pi Pico W as easy as possible, we will create some code examples. Our first video shows how to set up an HTTP web server on the Raspberry Pi Pico W that serves a website which lets you toggle the onboard LED via Wi-Fi. Check out the link in the top right corner or in the video description and subscribe for more Pico W content. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel as we will post videos like this on a weekly basis. Also, check out our store by Zero to pick up everything you need for your Raspberry Pi projects.